That aside, Dr. Law, I think the problem with the Ibu are two things. One is lack of leadership. Two is lack of knowledge on how to play politics. And I'll tell you why. You people are too straightforward. You people do not know how to do treachery. You don't know how to backbite. It is not played that way. We evolve, the Northerners and the Southwesterners evolve in politics because we know how to backbite. We know how to betray. You must do this in the process of politics or in the process of elections before you become something in this country. So whether you like it or not, you cast your eggs in one basket. It is never done that way. You can never be president in this country being straightforward the way you pull out. You take it like a business. See, growing up with Kanu. Awan, thank you very much. I think, um, you know, when, I, when you spoke and you spoke from the heart, I really appreciate that. But let me make some, you know, uh, put something straight here. Uh, part of it, Law Mefo has done, Dr. Law Mefo has done, but I want to put it on record that is incorrect that the Southeast has three, uh, sorry, the Southeast are the only people that put all their eggs in one basket. Now, this is a region that has five states. And the only region in Nigeria that has three political parties controlling states. Go check it out. This is a fact. Now, and that That's cannot it. be that cannot be a people that puts all their egg in one basket. There is one thing we are missing out. I think we are missing out the Buhari factor. The Buhari factor in the sense that Buhari, um, you know, I'll put it this way. What we have in the Southeast is not that the Southeast voted against the APC. The Southeast voted against Buhari. That we can go back and argue. However, one point here is if we want unity, if we want progress, I appreciate the fact when you mentioned IPOB and the thing, but if we have to do something, that means we need to look at national unity. What is being requested, your proposition to the Southeasterners to go learn backstabbing, to go learn, uh, you know, treachery, it's, it's, I mean, you know, there are things you don't learn in your old age. And again, the Southeast, it's which again, you know, to some people might see that as a weakness. But in politics, if you go to the United States of America, you have what they call the red state. You have what they call the blue state. It's tradition. Now, if you go to um, in the United Kingdom, you have conservative states. You have uh, the, the labor states or, or rather counties. Then you have where they call the battleground. Now, the Southeast, granted, is predominantly PDP. But that doesn't mean that you don't have APCs in the Southeast. I mean, if not, we'll be discounting what uh, you rightly said, uh, Namani. You, you have uh, Obun Nayon, you have even Okorocha that, you know, joined against all odds. You had, you, you, you saw when he broke away with Annie Okonkwo and all the rest. I think, you know, at the end of the day, the greater thing that should worry us in 2023 is the unity of the nation. Do we really want to be united as a nation? If really we want. Now, the threat you mentioned, it can actually, because the only way you can suppress the threat that you mentioned is by giving them a fair share of the, you know, we're not saying, you know, you know no, one is, no one actually says you're going to give it a la carte. No, these are people, they will buy their form. They are already in a political party. All they are saying is give us the opportunity in order to heal the wound of the 1967 to 1970 civil war and to be part of this. Law Mefo has already said about the three hours, but one is something that is yet to be addressed. And I strongly believe that if Nigeria is being genuine to himself, that they have to look at that, the last hour that is remaining in 2023. Thank you very much. All right.